Japanese food is amazing in that it's so simple. It is made up of so many little dishes that it feels like little tiny gifts while you're eating. When I'm not in the kitchen, I feel very self-conscious about how to express who I am as a person. When I really want to express something, it's so easy to do it through the medium of food. Kaiseki has such a long history, but recognizing that, we've decided to do a modern version of Kaiseki because traditional places in Japanese history do not necessarily have space for women. My definition of modern kaiseki is taking traditional kaiseki and incorporating it with new ideas, but always remembering the core philosophy, which is honor the ingredient, be grateful, and do the best to showcase those ingredients. I'm Nikki Nakayama, and this is my master class. I'm looking forward to showing you how to fabricate some fish, how to steam a dish, how to make dashi, the foundation of all Japanese cuisine. Mm. This is Carol, my wife at home and my partner at work, and we're going to talk about different Japanese cooking techniques and how you can enjoy it as a family or as individual dishes. I'm going to show you this very simple process of washing rice. Letting it sit and rest for at least 20 to 30 minutes is key to a really beautiful batch of rice. We'll be teaching you how to cut some sashimi, how to make some tempura, and how to grill over pinchotan. It looks so beautiful, so welcoming, and there's so much life to it. As you're learning these techniques, be kind to yourself. Let yourself do things that don't always work, but always learn from them. What I hope people who cook try to communicate when they make a meal is a feeling of love and appreciation. I think it's such an expression of giving and it's such an expression of care. That is what I love most about food. Nakayama Nikito Moshimas. Korega Watashino Masterclass.